So you want to fix your life in your 20s, you probably watch every Jordan Peterson stocks and your Instagram feed is filled with motivational videos. So in this video, I'm going to share with you three habits that are making me win in my 20s on three key areas most guys our age completely neglect, which is your finances, your body, and your mind. And to do so, I came up with a concept that I call the rule of the three R's. And you know what? I don't want to waste too much of your time. So let's dive right into it. And the first rule is the respect of your mind. To do so, I started maxing out on the mental space I have on a day-to-day -day basis with high quality information. If you don't know this yet, every single day, you have a given amount of mental space and mental energy. And if you completely put it to waste, then you can't ever get it back. So to make up some quality mental space, I stopped watching the news. And there's a big reason why. 90% of media news is filled with negative content. And studies have also shown that news media increase stress, anxiety, and depression. And overall, I feel like it just scatters your brain power. So I imply a concept Tim Ferriss came up with, which is called the low information diet. I discovered this concept in his great book, The 4-Hour Workweek. By the way, if you haven't read it yet, I totally recommend it. So this concept is about restricting information to the essential or to information that is truly relevant and helpful to your life. And brother, let's be completely honest here. You're pretty powerless about what's happening in the news anyway, and you can't change anything about it. So why don't you focus your energy on things where you truly have an impact on, like fixing your life or reading and feeding your brain with raw, good quality material. So just ask yourself the following question. Does watching the news have a positive impact on your personal life, your health, or your happiness? If the answer is no, then you can completely stop watching the news. And instead, you can do the following. Feed your brain with high quality material every day. This can be as simple as reading 10 pages of a nonfiction book every single day. If you think about it this way, 10 pages a day equals to 300 pages per month. And over the course of an entire year, that totals to 3,600 pages a year. Dude, that's 12 books a year. 10 pages a day makes 12 books a year. Anybody can read 10 pages a day. Which leads me to the rule number two, which is the respect of the body. And for this one, I imply a simple rule, which is lifting weights. Listen up, brother. If you're not injured and you're not physically ill, and you can't do a 5k without crying, you can't do 10 bodyweight pull-ups without struggling, you can't do 10 bodyweight dips, then you have some work to do. One thing I'm super fortunate for is that I stuck to the habit of lifting weights since I was 18 years old. I'm now 26 and I've never felt that good my entire life, whereas most men, after they're 25, they start decreasing physically. It's either they increase their body fat levels, they get sedentary, or they have work and responsibilities as an excuse for mediocrity. So the simple rule it can imply here is to get yourself a gym membership. And if you can't afford one, you can find yourself a calisthenics park. And if there's no calisthenics park in your area, just start by working out at home. Anybody can do this. As you build the habit of going to the gym on a regular basis, start improving and getting better at these compound movements like squats, weighted pull-ups, and weighted dips. These are crucial. Also, try to get down to a body fat level that maximizes your looks, which is just about 10 to 12% body fat. Now, one last thing I'm doing health-wise that is really making me max out in my 20s is that I don't drink alcohol because it completely destroys your productivity, your alertness, and it also destroys your muscle gains. Now, this brings me to the final rule of this video, which is the respect of the finances. If you're a guy in your 20s, you should definitely learn to improve your finances. As always, it is something that the typical education system has never taught us, but learning to build yourself a comfortable life is crucial. Listen up, boys. In this century, you need to learn how to become a creator, not a constant consumer like most people. And to do that, and I keep talking about this on all my videos, you need to build yourself a skill that will provide high value to the world. And if you do this on the internet, then you will have a massive advantage. So the key action step you can take right now is to learn a skill that follows the ship towards the digital revolution we're doing right now. On my side, the skill that I learned is called copywriting, and I made an entire video where I show you guys how you can get started with this. But the key part of respecting your finances is to have a clear system to fulfill your needs by yourself with a skill that is proper to you. Because once you have some knowledge and a skill set, nobody can steal it from you. So there you have it, brothers. These are the three rules that I'm following right now to max out my 20s. If you guys like this video, make sure you comment down below and tell me what you like the most about it. Make sure you smash the like button down below and also subscribe to your channel for more. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.